Cobra, Japanese, Cobra, Hepburn, Cobra is a Japanese manga series written and illustrated by Buichi Terasawa. Set in the far future, the series tells the story of Cobra, who lives an adventurous life until his enemies begin to hunt him down. Cobra surgically alters his face and erases his own memory to hide from his foes and have a normal life. Eventually, he regains his memories and reunites with his former partner Lady Armaroid. Terasawa devised it as a mix of spaghetti western and samurai stories, and aspects of films, varying from James Bond to Disney. The manga was originally serialized in Shuisha's weekly Shonen Jump from November 1978 to November 1984. Later, Shuisha collected the chapters and published them in 18 Tankoban volumes. The Cobra manga spawned various sequel manga series, one-shots, a feature-length anime film, two anime series, a 31-episode series in 1982, and a 13-episode series in 2010, two original video animations OVAs, audio albums, video games, and other merchandise. In 2010, Alexandra Arja announced the interest in producing a live-action film. In the United States, portions of the manga were published by Viz Media in 1990 and the complete series was published in Kindle format by Creek and River in 2015. The feature film was licensed by Tara for its release in American theaters and by Manga Entertainment in British theaters in 1995. Urban Vision and Discotech Media released it for home video market, while Madman Entertainment acquired it for the Australasian region's release. The anime series was licensed in the Northern American region by Nozomi Entertainment. In Japan, the Cobra manga has sold 40 million copies, making it one of Weekly Shonen Jump's best-selling manga series of all time. Publications for manga, anime and other media have compared the series to Star Wars and Barbarella, and the main character's attitude to James Bond. Its film adaptation received mixed reviews, and the original anime series as well as Cobra the animation has been well received by reviewers. Plot <laughs> <laughs> In the far future, an office worker named Johnson leads a dull and mundane life. One Sunday morning, his robotic servant Ben suggests that he go to the Trip Movie Corporation—a company that enables its customers to experience a dream as though it were a reality. Johnson asks to be a king of a harem and to command a battlestar. In his dream, however, Johnson instead becomes Cobra. An adventurer who explores space with his android partner Lady Armaroid. Cobra wields the Psychogen, a cybernetic arm laser gun, to fight monsters and the Pirate Guild, an organized crime syndicate of pirates. After a battle with the Guild, Cobra allows its leader Captain Viken to escape. Viken distributes Cobra's picture to other pirates, making him a wanted man. After the dream ends, Johnson describes the fantasy to an attendant, who is surprised because Johnson's dream should not have any reference to pirates or to Cobra. On his way back home, Johnson crashes into a speeding car whose driver looks like Captain Viken. When Johnson mentions the resemblance, the driver reveals himself as Viken. He asks Johnson about Cobra and threatens to kill Johnson if he does not answer. Johnson unconsciously lifts his arm and a ray shoots out of his hand, killing Viken. The shot explodes Johnson's arm, revealing the psychogen embedded in it. Johnson rushes home, where Ben notices the weapon on his arm. Johnson then realizes that he remembers nothing from before the last three years. After looking into a mirror, he finds a knob and turns it to reveal a secret room. There, he finds the revolver which he used in his dream. At that moment, armed intruders break into the house and address him as Cobra. 
a battle ensues, and Ben's robot shell breaks to reveal Lady Armaroid, with whom Johnson kills the intruders. Johnson starts to remember his previous existence as Cobra. Hunted by the Pirate Guild for meddling in their criminal enterprises and tired of life on the run, Cobra surgically altered his face and had his memories erased. Lady Armaroid tells Cobra that the trip movie has triggered his subconscious to regain access to the memories of his former life. Cobra and Lady Armadroid resume their adventurous life together. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Characters. Cobra Cobra is the main protagonist and eponymous character of the series. Cobra's signature weapon is the Psychogen, which can target putative enemies without having a line of sight. Using the Psychogen drains Cobra's mental energy, but his superhuman stamina compensates for it. He also carries a Python 77 Magnum revolver as a backup weapon. Cobra was voiced by Shigeru Matsuzaki in the film adaptation, by Nachi Nozawa in the first anime, and by Noya Uchida in Cobra the Animation. Dan Warren voiced him in the Streamline Pictures release, while William DeFries anonymously credited as John Guericio voiced him in manga entertainment version. Lady Amaroid, Amaroido Ready Amaroido Ready, originally Amaroid Lady is Cobra's longtime partner and is the serious half of the duo. She and Cobra share a deep, unspoken trust, in times of need, they always help each other. Lady is a top-class armaroid. A mechanical cyborg. Derived from advanced technology recovered from an ancient, lost civilization on Mars. She possesses superhuman strength but does not carry a weapon and is rarely involved in physical combat. When Cobra is away on an adventure, Lady supports Cobra by piloting their spaceship, the Tortuga. In the manga entertainment dub, Lady Armaroid is renamed Andromeda. Yoshiko Sakakibara voiced Lady in the film, in the first anime, and in Cobra the animation. In the Streamline Pictures release, Joan Carroll O'Connell voiced her, and she was voiced by Tamsin Hollow in the manga entertainment dubbing. Jane Royal is the first of the triplet daughters of Captain Nelson that Cobra meets. Each sister has a unique tattoo on her back which, once assembled in a chromatic sequence, form a map leading to hidden gold, diamonds, and the fabled ultimate weapon. In the manga entertainment dub, Jane Royal is renamed Jane Flower. Jane was voiced by Akiko Nakamura in the film, and by Toshiko Fujita in the first anime. Barbara Goodson voiced her in the Streamline Pictures release, while Lorelai King voiced her in the manga entertainment version. Catherine Royal is the second of the triplets whom Cobra meets after Jane asks him to rescue Catherine from the Sido Penitentiary. Catherine is a timid school teacher and is the only sister who is not involved in a violent occupation. In the manga entertainment dub, Catherine Royal is renamed Catherine Flower. She is voiced by Toshiko Fujita in the film, and by Yuko Sasaki in the first anime. In the Streamline Pictures release, Mari Devon voiced her, while she was voiced by Lorelai King in the manga entertainment dubbing. Dominique Royal Dominiku Royaru Dominiku Royaru serves as an officer in the Milky Way Patrol. Dominique possesses great strength and co-operates well with Cobra, often looking the other way when her professional duties would require her to arrest him. She hires him to resolve an unpleasant matter of drug trafficking involving the Rugball Federation at the Rand Stadium. In the manga entertainment dub, Dominique Royal is renamed Dominique Flower. Dominique was voiced by Jun Fubuki in the film, and by Gara Takashima in the first anime. Wendy Lee voiced her in the Streamline Pictures release, while Lorelai King voiced her in manga entertainment version. 
Crystal Bowie, Kurasitaru Boi Kurasitaru Boi is Cobra's arch enemy who regards Cobra as the only man worthy of becoming his adversary. Crystal Bowie is a humanoid cyborg with a golden skeleton and a body made from indestructible, polarizing glass. He works for the Pirate Guild led by Lord Salamander. Crystal Bowie's signature weapon is a claw which he can attach to his right hand. The claw can crush anything, and he also uses it for slitting his victims' throats. The claw has a built-in laser gun which can also be used as a grappling hook or fired as a projectile. In the manga entertainment dub, Crystal Bowie is renamed Lord Necron. Crystal Bowie was voiced by Goro Mutsumi in the film, and by Kayoshi Kobayashi in the two anime adaptations. In the Streamline Pictures release, Jeff Winkless voiced him, while he was voiced by David McAllister in the manga entertainment dubbing. Sandra, Sandora Sandora first serves as the ruthless and cold-hearted leader of the Snow Gorillas, the local branch of the Pirate Guild on her home planet. Later, Sandra hounds Cobra and tracks him to the planet on which the ultimate weapon is hidden. Sandra was originally ordered to retrieve the weapon and hand it over to the emissaries of the guild, but she uses it for her own ends and turns against the guild until Cobra stops her. In the manga entertainment dub, Sandra is renamed Nadia. Sandra was voiced by Reiko Tajima in the film and in the first anime. Catherine Batterstone voiced her in the Streamline Pictures release, while Leslie Martin voiced her in manga entertainment version. Lord Salamander, Rodu Saramander, Rodo Saramander is a mysterious, deep-voiced man dressed in samurai armor. After he unites the Pirate Guild under his command, Salamander's unquenched ambitions lead him to seek absolute control over the galaxy. Lord Salamander rarely appears in person but demonstrates a powerful telekinetic ability when he does. He can also teleport, incinerate an enemy by will alone, and make his enemies think they see someone else. He uses this trick and his other powers to dispose of Doug, Pumpkin, and Bud. In the final episode, he is revealed as the spirit of Adolf Hitler, which was revived 3,000 years after his defeat. Lord Salamander was voiced by Hidekatsu Shibata in the anime. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Production. Cobra is Buichi Terasawa's debut manga series. Previously, he had written and illustrated between 20 and 30 science fiction shoujo targeted towards girls short stories for manga contests held by manga magazines, with one of them earning an honorable mention. Terasawa created Cobra by combining the spaghetti western subgenre and Japanese stories featuring a wandering swordsman. Terasawa wanted to create a hero who would be able to carry a concealed weapon and then the Psychogen was created before the titular character. His concept of a hero has been greatly influenced by "...spaghetti westerns with a James Bond type spin to them." Also from Bond series came the concept of several women who circulate around Cobra. For Cobra, he also drew inspiration from the French actor Jean-Paul Belmondo and his «phlegmatic style», specifically from his characters on Breathless and That Man from Rio The then-rising actresses Dominique Sander and Catherine Deneuve also inspired the names of the royal sisters, in general. Terasawa has been influenced by films, including Star Trek, René Lalux's animations, the James Bond film series, Akira Kurosawa's films, and Disney films prior to The Little Mermaid 1989. For example, Jane Fonda's performance in the cult science fiction film Barbarella 1968 served as a direct model for his character Jane whose hairstyle was also inspired by Princess Aurora's in the Disney animated film Sleeping Beauty 1959. 
For his storytelling, panel layout, and narrative pacing in general, he draws influence from manga artist Asamu Tezuka, who mentored him. Terasawa declared, without him, Cobra would never have existed. Topic publication Written and illustrated by Buichi Terasawa, Cobra was first published in 1977 in Shuisha's Japanese shonen manga magazine Weekly Shonen Jump as a one-shot edition. It was later serialized, running from the November 6, 1978 issue to the November 12, 1984 issue of Weekly Shonen Jump, and released under the magazine's Jump Comics line in 18 Tankoban volumes between August 15, 1979 and August 15, 1985. Cobra was republished from February 10, 1988 to November 10, 1998 in a 10-volume Azoban edition under Jump Comics Deluxe entitled Space Adventure Cobra. The manga series was only partially released in the United States by Viz Communications in 1990 in a series of 12 books. This English language publication covered the origin story and the Royal Sisters saga, with dialogue adapted by the American comic book writer Marv Wolfman and published under Viz Communications' Viz Select Comics line. In 2015, Creek and River released the complete manga in the U.S. in a 15 volume full color Kindle edition. The complete manga was printed in several other countries. In France, the manga was first published by Dynamic Visions, and later reprinted by Taifu Comics. Its first volume was released in the 1990s Brazil by Dila, being one of the first manga to be published in the country. The manga was also published in Italy by Play Press, in Taiwan by Tong Li, in Hong Kong by Culturecom, and in Thailand by Viabulkage. Shuisha released Cobra in Kanzanban form with the title Space Adventure Cobra, Handy Edition, which included volumes 1 through 10, from October 19, 2001 to February 4, 2002. Shuisha later created three Kanzanban magazine series based on the Cobra manga under their Shuisha Jump Remix line. Ayazumi no Honor Hen, which spanned two volumes, was published on October 7, 2002, and on October 21, 2002, Rugball Hen, which spanned two volumes, was published on November 2, 2002, and on November 18, 2002, and Shido no Megami Hen, which spanned three volumes, was published from June 9, 2003 to July 7, 2003. Media Factory also published Cobra in a Kanzanban edition, it was simply called Cobra Kanzanban, and spawned 12 volumes released between August 23, 2005, and June 23, 2006. Cobra was also sold as an e-book, Space Adventure Cobra, Galaxy Knights for a limited time. Out of requests, Terasawa announced in February 2016 he would create a new saga for Cobra. He aims to deal with the unsolved plot of the strange resemblance of two female characters, Dominique and Secret. Topic: <laughs> Sequels and spin-offs. The Seinen Manga Magazine Super Jump published several Cobra sequel or spin-off series. The first was titled Cobra, Legend of the Holy Knight, which was serialized in 1986 in a special issue of Weekly Shonen Jump. It was then published in a single tankoban by Shuisha in 1988 under the magazine's Jump Comics Deluxe line. Space Adventure Cobra, The Psychogen, a fully colored, computer graphics manga, was serialized in Super Jump in 1995. A computer graphics sequel called Space Adventure Cobra Magic Doll was serialized in Super Jump from 2000 to 2002. 
Along with several other series serialized in Super Jump, they were published from 1995 to 2002 in Jump Comics Deluxe under the title Space Adventure Cobra. Space Adventure Cobra Magic Doll was re serialized in the monthly comic Flapper magazine by Media Factory, and was published under its MF Comics line as Cobra the Space Pirate, Magic Doll Zenpen, and Cobra the Space Pirate, Magic Doll Cohen on February 23, 2000. 2006, and September 22, 2006, respectively. In addition, Media Factory published six Cobra One shots, the first one, Cobra the Space Pirate, Kokuyu O, on March 23, 2006, and the last one, Cobra the Space Pirate, Time Drive, on April 23, 2009, all of which were also under MF Comics. To celebrate the series' 30th anniversary, 16 manga were reprinted and released by Media Factory. On May 23, 2008, Cobra Fukatsu and Ayazumi no Sanchimai were released, and Magic Doll concluded it, with its release on July 7, 2009. From October 25, 2014 to June 13, 2015, Media Factory is republishing Cobra the Space Pirate through its MFR series. Topic: Anime adaptations. Topic: Film. Tokyo Movie Shinsha adapted the manga into a film titled Space Adventure Cobra, which was released on July 23, 1982, in Japan. It was directed by Asamu Dezaki, with screenplay by Terasawa and Haruya Yamazaki, and retold the Cobra involvement with the Royal Sisters, and his fight against Crystal Bowie. Manga Entertainment released the film in British theatres in 1995. An American dub was created by Carl Maesk's Streamline Pictures, and was released in American theaters also in 1995, by Tara, and was later distributed by Urban Vision on VHS format in 1998. The film was later released on DVD in the Australasian region by Madman Entertainment in 2007, in the UK by Manga Entertainment in 2008, and on DVD in 2012 and Blu-ray in 2015 by Discotec Media in the US. Topic: <laughs> Space Cobra Cobra was adapted into an anime series titled Space Cobra directed by Dezaki and Yoshio Takuchi that aired on Fuji Television between October 7, 1982, and May 19, 1983. The scenario writers were Haruya Yamazaki, Kosuke Miki, and Kenji Tarada. Terasawa himself participated on weekly meetings to discuss the screenplays, giving his suggestions to the writers to fix what he told was wrong or rewriting himself the screenplay. The episodes were released in eight DVDs and a DVD box set on October 25, 2000 by Digital Site in Japan. The series was released in Northern America by Nozomi Entertainment in two parts, the first was released on March 4, 2014, and the second one is available since May 6, 2014. In November 2015, the series was added to the Crunchyroll streaming service to be broadcast in the United States and Canada with English subtitles. Cobra the Animation Cobra was adapted into two OVAs and a television series that were created by Guild Project and animated by Magic Bus under the Cobra the Animation line for the series' 30th anniversary. The first of the series was The Psychogen, which was released direct to DVD between August 29, 2008, and February 27, 2009. It was written, storyboarded, and directed by Terasawa. Its sequel over, Time Drive, was released between April 24, 2009, and June 26, 2009. 
It was co-directed by Terasawa and Kenichi Majima, and co-written by Terasawa and Mitsuyo Suenaga. Both OVA series were later released in Blu-ray box set on February 19, 2010. The anime television series Rokunan no Yushi, directed by Keizo Shimizu, aired on BS11 between January 2, 2010 and March 27, 2010. Crunchyroll streamed the first OVA series between December 18, 2009 to on January 8, 2010. The two episodes of Time Drive were uploaded on January 1, 2008, and Rokunan no Yushi was simulcasted as it aired in Japan. In April 2016 during the Anime Boston the Anime Television and the OVAs were licensed by Sentai Filmworks to be released in North America through digital outlets and in the home video market. Cobra, Return of Joe Gillian Monaco-based Shibuya Productions will adapt the rugball arc of the series into an «original animated series» called Cobra, Return of Joe Gillian. In collaboration with Terasawa's A Girl Writes, the series will be directed by Herve Truile, produced by Cedric Biscay and Rinko Ito, and written by Truile and Biscay. The announcement of the series was through a promotional teaser released on February 27, 2016. The arc choice was based on the fact that it is a favorite of Cobra fans and it will incorporate classic characters and elements of the Cobra universe and a rendering that will not disappoint fans of Cobra, according to Biscay. However, they hope to attract more people because of economic reasons, as such, it will have a new story and a modern style of animation. The target audience of the series is primarily adolescents of over 12 years and it was slated to premiere in 2018. <laughs> Audio The soundtrack of the film was composed by Asamu Shoji. It used a single opening theme and a single ending theme, and its lyrics were written by Tetsuya Kiaki and composed by Saburo Suzuki. Daydream Romance by Shigeru Matsuzaki was used as the opening music and Stay by Eve was used at the end. The subsequent anime's music was scored by Kentero Haneda. The lyrics for Cobra and Secret Desire. The opening and the ending themes, respectively, were written by Kayako Fuyomori and composed by Yuji Ono. Both were sung by Yoko Mano. The anime's music was compiled into two albums: Space Cobra Original Soundtrack and Space Cobra Complete Soundtrack. Were released by Nippon Columbia on September 25, 2003, and April 21, 2004, respectively. The musical score for Cobra the animation was composed by Yoshihiro Ike. The opening theme from the Psychogen is Kizudareik no Yumi. By Yoko Takahashi, and its ending theme is Wanderer by Shigeru Matsuzaki. Both were released as singles on August 27, 2008, by Nippon Columbia. The second overused Time Drive by Saja Anthunis as its opening theme and Kimi Ga by Waranara by Shigeru Matsuzaki as its closing theme. Cobra the Space Pirate by Saja Anthunis and Kimi no Uta, respectively were used as opening theme and closing theme for Rokunan no Yushi. On March 24, 2010, both were released as singles by Nippon Columbia. A soundtrack containing music from both OVAs and a compilation of music from the anime series were released on January 20, 2010, and April 14, 2010, respectively. Cobra Song Collection, which encompassed music from the soundtracks of the film, two OVAs and two anime series was released on March 31, 2010 by Nippon Columbia. <laughs> <laughs> Related media 
The Cobra manga has become the basis of two art books. The first focusing on the female characters of the series was released as Cobra Girls on February 1, 1988. Concept designs of the manga were added to a Cobra art book titled Cobra Wonder, Concept Design Arts of Cobra World, which was released on July 17, 1997, and included two Cobra's side stories Bara and Maho no Fune first published in Super Jump in 1988. Poppy and Bandai included Cobra's ground vehicle, the Psychoroid, in the Japanese machine robo toy line, where it gained the ability to transform into a robot. Japan later exported this idea to the United States as part of the Super Gobots toy line under the name, Psycho, designed by Murakami Katsushi. In Japan, action figures, T-shirts, Cupid dolls, Cobra's Psychogen and Crystal Bowie's claw replicas, stamps, and limited edition whiskey bottles were sold as merchandise for the series. <laughs> <laughs> Video games In 1982, Poppy Electronics created the handheld games Space Cobra Professional and Space Cobra the Psychogen. It was followed by Cobra, Kokuyu o no Densetsu, released in 1989 for the PC Engine, and Cobra 2, Densetsu no Otoko, released for the PC Engine in 1990, which was released in North America and Europe for the Sega CD as the space adventure, Cobra, the Legendary Bandit. Reception Topic. Critical response The English version of Cobra was named as one of the top 25 translated to English manga of all time by Wizard Magazine. Ivave Upatkun of X Online Magazine praised it as a rich fantasy that was unmatched by any other. She said the main character took after James Bond, albeit somewhat on the silly side, and the costumes and bizarre worlds are but a shade shy of plagiarizing Barbarella." She was impressed that the series, "...is surprisingly devoid of the sexual innuendo and exploitation that anime fans have come to associate with decorative female characters." It avoids the stereotypical, beautiful women, and instead creates its own extreme world. Upat Kuhn also said that modern readers might find the manga dated and would be discouraged from reading it, despite the improvement in artistic quality as the series progresses. Writing for Anime News Network, Anne, Jason Thompson described Cobra as a significant piece of manga history. Thompson wrote that the women of the series have a realistic physique and not some mo jailbait or grotesque back on you explosion. Thompson deemed Cobra as a parody of both Western action heroes and Star Wars and 1970s shoujo science fiction and its concept of beauty. Pedro Cortez from Japanator affirmed. Space Adventure Cobra is interesting in that it takes a shard of an idea from a classic and then spins it out into its own epic. Cortez praised its charming designs, while criticized the main character lack of development as the only negative thing. Quote, he added, there isn't a ton of depth, but the show doesn't pretend to be anything but a fun, sci-fi romp around the galaxy. Anne's Theron Martin praised its surprisingly solid art for a series of its era, and affirmed it does stand up well as high-spirited, fun-loving action fare with occasional darker overtones. Chris Beveridge of the Fandom Post said, It's simple but full of adventure, interesting characters and locations and a sense of fun that definitely makes it work in a very good way. And has a solid visual design. Washington, in a review for Otaku USA, commended it for being entertaining overall, and having 
an overall fun vibe, because of its smooth art. He, however, criticized what he called serious misogynistic tendencies. Chris Beveridge from Mania.com praised the Cobra the Animation anime series and its visual design, comparing to the Psychogen ones, but said it is not for those who are unaware the original series. He said the anime has a healthy dose of action, the kind of sexuality that's a trademark of the series, as well as a good bit of silly fun. In the second episode review, Beveridge said it seems to be following much the same kind of pace and structure as the OVAs. Its animation was compared with the Dark Side Blues, and Aaron Finnegan said it was a gritty animation, but that from episode 5, the animation quality looks more modern and much less gritty. Beveridge said the anime's idea is simple, but added it is also not a show you see often since it doesn't center around teenagers, schools or the harem concept." He said it is not a great show, but that it gives us something different than the usual. The reason it is enjoyable. <laughs> Popularity and legacy Cobra made Terasawa, who at the time was 22 and was little known, famous. Approximately 40 million copies of Cobra have been sold, making it one of Weekly Shonen Jump's best-selling manga series of all time. The anime television series was a major success in France in the 1980s. Le Mans Frédéric Petet said it, "...marked a whole generation of young viewers." and Joel Metro of 20 Minutes asserted it gained a cult following. Alexandra Arger and Luc Besson are among the French filmmakers that are fans of the series, its humorous style and sexual innuendos influenced City Hunter, and Shinichiro Watanabe's works Cowboy Bebop and Space Dandy owe their nostalgic appearance and the ironic tone, respectively, to Cobra. Cobra's provoking look Ironic style and capacity of changing from a little smile to a serious face also inspired video game designer Hideki Kamiya to create the character of Dante from the Devil May Cry series. Thirty years later, Cobra the animation has been well received by fans, the over was among the best selling for two weeks, and the sixth volume of the anime series was one of the best selling DVDs for one week. Live-action film In 2008, Buichi Terasawa said he received a Hollywood offer to purchase the rights to a live-action film adaptation of the series. He stated it was, "...off the record," and that if it happened it would be partly standalone and separate from his original manga. However, in 2010, Alexandra Arger announced he had purchased its rights, and that he planned to direct a live-action film adaptation of Cobra. Arger was inspired to create this film adaptation because the original manga was one of his childhood favorites. Arger said he wanted to create a tent-pole-sized live-action franchise. In 2011, Arja wrote a script with Gregory Lavassa, and production was held by Aitan Sumish and Dimitri Rassam under Onyx Films and Studio 37 with a budget of more than $100 million. Later, a teaser poster depicting promotional concept art for Cobra, the Space Pirate, along with a release date scheduled for mid-2013, was unveiled. In September 2013, however, Arja admitted that making the film will be very hard, since to do a new kind of Star Wars is expensive. Though he stated, We are trying everything, we will make it. In July 2014, Arja revealed it was estimated that the project would require a budget of over $150 million and that he was seeking to have an A-list actor to help attract the funder. 
One of his main difficulties, Arja said in 2015, was to decide who would star the film. When I think who the heck is going to play that cobra, I become unable to move forward. In a June 2016 interview, Arja said he did not abandon it and that, the project is well advanced. Working with the Orange Studio and a group of 20 concept artists, Arja was able to develop an absolutely huge universe in visual research. One of the drawbacks that made him slow the process was the release of Guardians of the Galaxy in 2014, because Arja had to change several aspects of Cobra to differentiate it. In June 2017, he revealed the script was ready, but commented that another drawback is the big budget required for the film, which finds no funders in the U.S. because the franchise is relatively unknown there. In April 2018, Arja revealed the film was in pre production at Lionsgate until a regime change occurred. The company's new staff considered the film budget $130 million to be high, and the release of Star Wars The Force Awakens was also a factor on the cancellation. <laughs> Notes Japanese